Hello guys, Rod here. Today I'm going to show you a simple tutorial on how to create your own uh, espionage mission. Uh, Call of Duty Cold War style, whereby you have to acquire enemy uniform in order for you to infiltrate enemy base. So I'm going to show you a quick demo. Stand by. So, our first task is to switch the enemy uniform. Right. Looks like uh, our special force guy has uh, secured the uniform from this soldier. So let's equip our uniform. Alright, as you can see, always keep your weapon holster and wear this uniform as you will be considered as hostile to the enemy. So let me equip my pistol and set the charges. So basically, there's a simple script whereby it always uh, check that if you are wearing specific uh, uniform, vest, or uh, even helmet, and if you keep your weapon holstered, you are no longer considered as hostile. So if you can see, there's a hint beneath there. You are undercover. I draw my weapon. You are not undercover. And let's say if I holster my weapon again, and if for some reason I don't like this hat, I decided to drop it. You are no longer undercover. So. Uh, bear in mind that you always wear that specific uniform in order to stay undercover. So in order to save time, I will teleport to the target building. So here we are. So you can see, uh, they start to crack down on the uh, resistance. And let's head into the target building. Alright, thank you. Let's check the possible escape route. Most of the escape route are heavily defended. There are guards on each side of the door. Oh, there are guards on the second floor as well. It is a very busy office despite of the uh, curfew they are imposed on the civilian. So currently we are in a, re in a restricted area. The guard will shoot us on site. So let's make this quick. Uh, for your mission, make sure if you can, try to make the hacking sequence longer uh, to, uh, to put more suspense into it. Uh, the re reason why I make it short because I don't want to drag my video uh, to be longer. So let's walk out as if there's nothing happened. I did sprint for a while just now. I hope no one really bothered about that. Hey, looks like I don't raise any suspicion. So let's head to the third objective. Let's sabotage this uh, ammo truck. Ammo truck. So to show you proof that uh, the script actually works. So let me draw my weapon. So you can see the enemy quickly uh, from his uh, guard state. He changed to uh, alert state and he draw his weapon and try to shoot at me. So let's get the hell out of dodge. 3, 2, 1, final. Nice. Objective completed. And we shall extract. So if you can see, uh, our special force friend has uh, secured a ride for us to go back. Mission completed. So, okay. So for the fun part, script. So let me switch to the 2D editor so for easier for us to refer to Google Max Texture. So again, I'm gonna make it quick. Uh, I will assume you guys know how to place trigger, props, and uh, model, etc. So I'm gonna head towards the uh, important script for this sort of mission. So first thing first, uh, as always, uh, place your unit and always uh, put a variable name. So in this case, I name him as Spy. Oops, sorry. So I did put this allow damage false because I don't want him to die so that I will need to do this video so many times so that's the reason why so please remove this alright the script itself is over here uh, this is action so I put a color here the color code is red uh, hostile weapon um, what it will do is it will uh, trigger this script this is the script actually very long so as usual, no worries, it will be in the comment section for you to copy and paste. So what it does, it will holster the weapon. And second, the undercover script. So the script as such, uh, condition, uh, uniform, 
spy which is us is equal equal to specific default fast is equal to specific fast hit gear is equal to specific hit gear and if our current weapon is equal to none and our primary weapon is equal to none what it does is on activation player set captive true meaning to say you are from blue fall you'll be uh, you change site become civilian that's the reason why the enemy doesn't uh, see you as hostile so upon the activation meaning to say if you decide to drop your vest or you decide to uh, draw your gun what happened is player set captives false meaning to say it revert back uh, you from civilian to blue fall uh, make sure you uh, make this trigger repeatable so that it will always constantly check if you meet all this criteria okay that is the undercover script fairly simple uh, next i'm gonna touch on the script whereby you have to hack the computer uh, the script is here uh, actually the script is in the uh, bi forum um, as normal but always if can I always put a variable so in this case variable pc even though if you don't put a variable if you put this uh, it does it know that you are referring to that particular uh, item so in this case uh, let's say let's rename this to pc pc the action it will be uh, hack terminal data or you can put whatever you want uh, it'll intel okay uh, this is the icon uh, which is a stock icon in the arma tree uh, actually there's a way to add in your custom made icon if you want uh, the distance to the target uh, and uh, color distance to target color uh, in this case is us um, I made it as three because uh, if you don't put that normally you can trigger you can see the add action icon from very far away which is very unrealistic so for me normally for me I found that three to five is pretty good enough uh, very close and what does it do is when you do this action it will trigger this so in this case it trigger object a one equal to true this is the this style that I do my mission because I want to tell the system that uh, objective one completed so in this case what happened is uh, objective one completed then it will say that task succeeded yeah, for the recovery intel task okay then i'm gonna hop to this is special uh, if you notice whereby uh, when i approach the van for extraction the van did uh, sound his horn twice so the script is very simple so in this case i put uh, a condition whereby my self distance to the car uh, less than 15 so as always again put variable name name your car and what does it do is uh, the driver will, will sound his horn so the script as follow and i think i did touch all the essential part of the uh, script oh yeah there's one more uh, regarding the animation um okay let me focus on this guy so the animation just now you saw he was the, this guy was uh on guard mode whereby he put his hand on his back but you don't see his weapon though so uh, the script as follow uh, so this a guard assist assist meaning to say that uh, he will keep whatever gear that you assigned him uh, for example so let me edit the loadout all right so in this case even though if you give him a safari hat he will maintain retain that safari hat uh, so it's safari hat so uh, call this uh, animation this is ambient animation whereby uh, if and even though if there's a wall going on on the background they won't do anything so in order to break that so this is the script so wait until behavior become combat so they will terminate the uh, animation and this we will add a weapon to this guy so in this case uh, he'll, uh, we give him the AK for sorry, sorry AK-74 in order to engage us all right i think i forgot that's one thing which is very important uh let's go back to the script over here so um some of you may be wondering where do i get all this um, uh what we call uh the name of the item so it's very simple so for example uh you want to steal this guy uniform 
So as usual, I think you, most of you are familiar with uh, edit loadout. So you will give him whatever loadout you want. As for example, I like this loadout. So we click export. So do open a text file. So let me delete this part. So this space over here. So actually you can find the uh, item name over here. So in this case, the uniform is this. The vest is this. The headgear is this. So for example, if you want to change and you don't like this headgear, you say, ah man, rod is very lame. I want something else. I want this kind of uh, hat. I want this kind of vest. So again, simple. Export. So can you override this? Because you don't not using it anyway so uniform is still the same you can see the vest has changed and the head has changed so that's uh, that is one of the way on how to get the class name so I think that's about it I hope you like the tutorial and I can see a lot of potential mission that you can create by using this script and I shall see you on the next one goodbye